Good morning, it's Phil Thatch, and once again, I'm out here in the back porch blind. And today I'm using the Sony A6700 and their 200 to 600 millimeter telephoto zoom lens. It is 36 degrees this morning. Last time I was out here, it was in the teens, and I brought a heater out. And 36 degrees is 4 degrees Fahrenheit above freezing, as you probably know. So it's cold, but it's not crazy cold. And I do have the heater out here, as you can see. But the difference between 36 degrees and somewhere in the teens is I can actually feel the heat coming off of the heater. So it's, it's definitely comfortably workable. I mean, I'm still wearing a lot of layers, but not as many as last time. And um, so far, the only thing I've seen is a squirrel out here on my feeders, which is not the droids I'm looking for. But um, hopefully, I'll get to see some birds pretty soon. Stay tuned. You are not the visitor that I'm looking for. Excuse me. Those seeds are not for you, sir. The first bird that I photographed this morning was this beautiful European starling. And just look at all the beautiful colors and spots on this bird. They are invasive here in the United States, but it still is a beautiful bird. Starting to get a flurry of activity out here. I just saw a yellow rumped warbler, which is definitely a common wintertime visitor to our area, but not something that I see out here on the back porch very much. So that was really cool to see and photograph a yellow rump warbler right here on the back porch. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever photographed a yellow rump warbler actually on my back porch. I've seen them in my yard before, but I've never seen them come up and onto the back porch before. And this one was landing here on this perch where there's plenty of seeds, but I don't think it ate any of them. It eventually skipped over to the next perch to the right of this, which is where the suet feeder was, and it definitely ate off of the suet feeder. But I enjoyed making these photographs, and even in this shot where you can kind of see the back end of the bird, you can't see the signature yellow spot on its rump, but you can see some of the other yellow spots on the bird. And like I say, it's definitely a yellow rumped warbler, and I really enjoyed seeing it and photographing it with the Sony A6700. Much more common is a house finch, and I saw a male house finch as well. Here's the beautiful male house finch that I often get to see and photograph these on the back porch. They're very common around my house, and I just love the colors of it. It kind of looks like uh, somebody spilled a little bit of paint on the top of a female house finch to get this male. And it's just beautiful, 400 millimeter shot, 1 250th of a second, wide open at 6.3. And the mockingbird stopped by for a moment. Here's the Mockingbird. It stayed for just a moment and landed on two perches, so I got a couple of different shots of it. The first one's on the perch over on the left that kind of comes up at an angle, and then I also got a shot of it on top of my stump perch where the seeds are. And the Mockingbird will eat the seeds, and it eats insects, and it also eats off the suet feeder. It's an omnivore, the Mockingbird. Carolina chickadees are pretty regular visitors back here, but usually they just land for a half a second and are gone. This time the Carolina chickadee stayed for three or four seconds and I think I got a shot. I was happy to get these photographs of the Carolina chickadee. This one, it's looking down and it kind of seems introspective in this shot. And the next shot has a little bit better pose, but I did like this pose as well. And this one's more of the type of pose I look for with the good head angle. But I, for some reason, I really like that introspective shot as well. Let me know what you think of that pose. I got the red belly woodpecker. He landed for just a second. I got off four shots. One, he's in focus. One, he's flying off. And the other two, there's no bird. But I got him. And in the shot, you can see his signature red belly really well. I had been hearing the male downy woodpecker all morning. I didn't know it was a male until I actually saw it. But I had been hearing it all morning. And it landed for such a short amount of time. I was really pleased that the A6700 bagged focus on the very first shot. And the next shot, the bird was halfway out of the frame. And then by the time I took my finger off the trigger, two more shots had fired with no bird in the shot at all. But in this shot, you can see the beautiful red belly that a lot of times when you photograph these, you don't see that. But that's how it got its name from that red belly, not the red on its head. Right after that, the male downy woodpecker showed up for just a brief moment and I got a shot of it. And I was still zoomed all the way back to right around 200 millimeters. Downy woodpecker is much smaller than a red belly. And by the time I kind of zoomed in to fill the frame, it was gone. But I did get a shot, I'm pretty sure, at right around 200 millimeters. I had to crop this shot quite a bit because it's only at 200 millimeters. And like I said earlier, the 
bird was gone by the time I filled the frame with it, but you can see a little bit of red on the back of its head, and that's how you know this downy woodpecker is a male, the beautiful downy woodpecker. It's basically 100% overcast today, but it's not a real dark overcast, so this is kind of perfect light, in my opinion, to make the bird look beautiful without any hot spots or dark spots. This light is still directional. You know, you can still tell it's coming from over there to over there where my birds are, but it's not overdone. It's not, there's no harshness to it. It's really nice today. A morning dove showed up and hung around on some of my perches for a little while. And I don't know why I'm not happy to photograph these. I never get excited at all, but whenever I do, I'm always happy with the pictures because I just think they're really beautiful birds. And the first shot that I showed you a moment ago was 200 millimeters. And this up close detail shot is at 600 millimeters with the 200 to 600. One thing that's really nice about working from a blind on your back porch is if you have a potty emergency like I just did, you can just walk right in the house and have a nice modern plumbing situation. Here's a northern cardinal that came by and I got to make this photograph of her. She's got a seed in her mouth, but at least you can't see a bird feeder in the shot. And I'd love the beautiful subtle colors of the female northern cardinal. Had kind of a flurry of activity. I don't even remember all the birds, but I know the chickadee and some house finches were among them. I was happy to successfully photograph a Carolina chickadee on two different occasions this morning. And I'll show you some more pictures after I talk about how I felt about shooting with the Sony A6700 today. I've been working a lot lately with Canon's new lens, the 200 to 800. And so I haven't been using my A6700 for birds as much. And I got to tell you, it's, it's really, really good. I still think the Canon might be a little bit better in terms of snapping to the eye on autofocus, but this does really well. And, you know, in between working with those two systems, I also worked with my old Nikon Z50, which is terrible. Maybe they'll improve on that soon, but man, I'm really enjoying the 200 to 600 and the a6700 today. It's a, it's a great pair, especially for this kind of perched bird photography. It, it locks on pretty quick and it stays on. So very happy today with this. Next, it's a female house fence, just a common and dull bird, but doesn't she look regal in this pose? I just really love the way this photograph turned out. I like this one a whole lot. And this next one is pretty good as well. I think I like the first one of these two the best, but I'm really happy with this one as well. Just a boring old house finch, but you can make beautiful photographs of them. I think that's going to do it for me today out here in the blind. It's been a joy and a pleasure to work with the Sony rig today. And I've enjoyed the light that I've had this morning. But the activity here has calmed down a whole lot. It's gotten to be about 1030 in the morning. So the birds are kind of done with their morning feeding. And I'm going to step right inside the house and work on these photos and put this video together. And I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, reach down, hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out a lot. If you want to see some more stuff like this with Sony gear and Nikon gear and Canon gear, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from the Back Porch Blind.